guys, what's up? How you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Taylor and I teach third grade in Central California. We have another teacher tag coming to you today from the Spanglish Maestra. I sounded so white. So thank you for reaching out and letting me join. Since I'm teaching third grade next year, I'm gonna be talking to you about when I was in third grade. So to start off, this was me in third grade, and funny story about this picture. So, I used to have long hair, like this. Focus please, focus please, mm-hmm. And I decided for picture day, I should cut it. In third grade, I became obsessed with the movie Grease. I watched it every day, I loved Sandy. So, if I cut it, then I can flip it up just like Sandy. Mm-hmm, cut it, and that's when I found out that my hair doesn't hold a curl. So this was the best I was gonna get, and I was not happy about it. So that started off third grade. All right, so let's dive into the questions. Question number one, describe your third grade classroom. This was the first classroom that I remember not being super colorful and decorative. It was more just informative. There was just so much like writing on all the walls and like everything had a purpose, but I had no idea what was going on. So I was just kind of like, maybe I could just like sit back and no one will notice. That didn't work out too well. I remember we had a lot of kids and not that big of a classroom and we had a lot of boys. And that's really all I remember about the classroom itself. Question number two, describe your third grade teacher. My third grade teacher was Miss Newberry and I remember I thought her name was so cool because it had berry in it and her hair was like a strawberry blonde. So that's what helped me remember her name. From what I remember, she was really patient. We had a big classroom and it was majority boys and we had a couple designated like classroom clowns. She put her thumb down, like didn't let up, and she always made sure to make things fun. I remember working a lot in like partners and teams and playing games, but they were really just like educational ways for us to like solidify what we were learning. Question number three, what is something you remember learning that year? Well, I remember memorizing my multiplication facts, but not necessarily learning them because every day when we had to do our time multiplication facts, I just copied off the person next to me because again, I had no idea what was going on. But eventually I ended up memorizing like, okay, so like when the three and the five go together, like that's 15, so okay. But didn't know why that was the answer. I just knew that was it. I remember learning cursive. You have to learn cursive. When you get to the older grades in high school, they will not accept print. You have to write in cursive. Everything has to be in cursive. You will write in cursive the rest of your life. Lies. I've never written cursive outside of that third grade classroom. In fact, in high school, they don't want you to write in cursive because let's be honest, your handwriting sucks and they can't read it. So cursive helped me with my signature, but that's about it. But it was still super fun to learn and I'm totally still teaching it. What else did I learn in third grade? Um, I remember learning about pilgrims. I had like a little paper bonnet and we each got like a little script and that was actually when I got into like oral language and plays and stuff. So third grade kind of introduced me to that. On the flip side, I also learned that sports were not my thing. Basketball and soccer were big that year, and it was rough. Uh, granted, I didn't know how bad I was because I kept getting picked for teams, but then someone eventually said, why are you picking her? She's not even good. I was like, I'm not good? Then I realized I pretty much just run around the whole time and I don't do anything. I really have no idea what's going on in those sports. So although I wasn't picked for my skills, I was picked as comic relief, but I was cool with it. This dives into question number four. What is something memorable about that year? Well, like I said, I realized sports was not my thing, but I also realized that I really liked oral language plays and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. Another thing I remember about third grade is that this was sort of the first year I started having tiffs with my friends, like bigger than just, you won't share the ball, but like actual friendship issues. And at the time it just seemed like the world, like it was just such a big thing. So I really wanna make a mental note of that going into teaching third grade this year. Question number five, do you remember who your friends were? Yes, I do because this was a K through eight school. We pretty much grew up together. I'm still super close with like four or five people that I grew up with. One specifically, she might hate me for showing this. This is me and my best friend Dom. 
I'm pretty sure this was like 4th of July in like second or third grade. We grew up across the field from each other. Uh, we live kind of out in the country, so instead of like across the street, it was like across the field. But we still hang out now and we're super close. This is actually a recent picture of us. And then the other two that I'm really close with, they didn't come into the picture until like sixth grade, but small town, small school, you're still gonna know each other. <laughs> Number six, as an educator now, do you do anything similar to your third grade teacher? Yeah, I would like to think I do. I make sure to do a lot of teams and partner work and also making games so it makes learning more fun. I'm also really attentive to those kids who are trying to like sit back and hide like me. And I make sure that I address that and reteach whatever they need so that way they feel comfortable and get on page with us. It's pretty hard to say though because I am going to be teaching third grade this upcoming year. The past two years I've taught first grade. Another thing, so remember in the beginning of the video when I said I was overwhelmed by like all the writing on the walls and stuff and I had no idea what was going on and I tried to like hide? My teacher eventually realized and came up to me one day and was like, um, Taylor, do you know anything that's going on? Do you know where to find anything? Like the homework or the workshop or anything you're supposed to do? Of course she said it a lot nicer than that, but that's my interpretation of it now. So she took the time, I came in at like lunch or recess one day and she just walked me through of like, okay, this is where you find your homework. Homework is due every day. This is where you find workshop and what you're supposed to do during workshop. This is where you find our schedule, what we're doing all day. This was a month or two in, and I still had no idea where any of this was. So thank God she realized and took the time to walk me through all of that because I probably would have gone the whole year not knowing where any of that was and failed miserably. Unlike my times tables, which I memorized. Last one, question number seven. Is there anything else that you would like to share about third grade? This video helped me remember more about third grade, like my multiplication facts and how friendships were hard and how I sucked at sports, but I liked plays. And all that is so important to teaching third grade because some kids aren't going to grasp the concepts you're trying to teach, but they're gonna do their best to try to memorize it and make it work. Some kids are gonna try and sit back and hide when they have no idea what's going on. And it's gonna take me to realize that and reach out to help them and reteach things even if it's a month or two in and they should totally know these things by now. Friendships were a big thing in this grade. So when my kids come in from recess and seem really upset, don't just blow it off it's like you and your friend will get over it. Because to them, that's the first time they're experiencing it and it seems like such a big deal. And to be honest, if they think that that friendship fight is such a big deal, they're not going to listen to a word of what you're trying to teach. So you're better off trying to like address the issue real quick. That way you can move on and learning will actually take place. What else? Um, like I learned, I was not good at sports. I'm probably gonna have a couple kids in my class that are not good at sports, but you know what? I'll remind them that's okay and guide them towards a different path like oral language or band or oh, I don't know. And just take the time to help them through life at this age even if it's not in the lesson plan, because those social skills and life skills and emotional skills are just as important, even if we don't test on them. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It means the world. I hope you found it interesting or helpful. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and go check out the other teachers in this playlist because we have a lot. Sorry, I'm paranoid about earthquakes. <laughs> because we have a lot of epic teachers in this collaboration, and I'm sure their videos are going to be awesome. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next week.